like a bowl. Oh my God, I mean, look, man, I don't like repeating myself, but some of you guys are hard-headed. Um, look, Alexians, okay? The number one mistake that women make when they're meeting a guy, the number one mistake that women make when first getting to know a guy. And I wanted to make this video because I, I was talking to a client earlier today, and she says she's been, she's been watching my channel for two years, and she's making these types of fundamental mistakes. And I was like, first of all, please don't tell people you watch my channel until you guess it's fixed. Second of all, what you're doing is simple. It's simple mistakes that you can fix instantly. And I know I repeat myself sometimes, but it's because some of you guys just don't get it. And I don't know I'm the most toxic dating coach out there, but at the end of the day, I do care about you guys. I do care that you guys get this right. And so I'll risk repeating myself so that you could, so that it could get through some of your heads, because some of you guys are just hard at it, it's that simple. And before that, don't forget, seminar all across the country next year, so go check out the dates. I'm going to Miami, I'm going to LA, Chicago, and and um, New York City, and a few other cities, and we're going to be doing a, a, a retreat, a three-day retreat in Mexico, where we're going to be doing ayahuasca, I mean, I mean, I mean, we're going to be doing the mother, the, the mother, um, the medicine, and we're going to be doing shrooms, we're going to be going to the pyramids, we're going to be have, we're going to have a few seminars in that, it's going to be a very spiritual retreat, so please attend, it's going to be really good, and you guys can ask me any question you guys want when, while we're there. Look, ladies and gentlemen. The number, one <coughs> the number one mistake the women make in the beginning when they get into know a guy, and you guys, people who watch my channel know this, is that you guys just open up too fast. You guys open up too fucking fast, man. You guys don't don't know how to play the game right. You guys think that people, the guys are judging you based on how open you are or how sweet you fucking are. Being sweet doesn't bring you anything but vultures and lions and wolves. Being sweet makes you look weak in the beginning. If you're a sweet lady, <clears throat> if you keep being, being sweet to people indiscriminately without making them earn your respect, you're going to end up being a bitter, passive-aggressive bitch eventually because you realize that people are taking advantage of you, but you don't know how to be aggressive directly. So you develop passive-aggressive tendencies, which is more toxic than anything else. Ladies, in the beginning, be a little tougher on the guy. Be a little bit more stricter on the guy. Shut the fuck up and stop telling the guy what you're looking for. Stop telling the guy what you want. Stop opening up too soon. Stop showing him your good side too soon. Stop telling him how you feel inside. Stop initiating all the contact. In the beginning, in the first two or three dates, let the guy do all the work. After you have a date with him and he tells you, hey baby, text me when you get home. Don't text him. Let him text you. Let him ask you what's going on. Stop telling him you had a great time on a date, even if you fuck him on the first date. Don't text them. Disappear. Learn how to play the mystery game. Learn how to be a little bit more mysterious. Stop being so predictable. Because this is what you do when you don't like the guy. And that's why they end up liking you back a lot. And these are simple fundamentals. That means on the first day... <coughs> Sorry, I got something in my, in my throat. No homo. In the first day, you're a little cold. In the first day... You don't talk too much. In the first day, you 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 sort of look at him a little bored. Trust me, it works. It makes it makes the guy feel insecure. It makes the guy feel like he's he's done something wrong, and so he'll feel the need to do something to make you feel to make you to make you smile. You can tell the guy that you're usually cold in the beginning. You say, "I'm usually I'm usually the type of person that warms up slowly." Let him know he got some work to do. Let him know that you're mean. That, that you're being cold, not because you don't like him, but because you need to warm up to him. It'll make him feel the need to work for you. It'll make him feel the need to work for your attention. But if you get seduced by that nice smile, by, 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 by those muscles, and you, and you just laugh at everything he says, and you're all flirty and shit like that, you're not going to create that mystery. And you can look predictable to the guy. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Back away and let him come to you. Risk losing him. And that is the only difference between when you like the guy and when you don't like the guy, is that you let him come to you as opposed to you come to him. So even if you're going out on a date with a guy, he's an amazing guy, don't think it's over. You gotta realize you he has to be the one that comes to you, not the other way around. Does that make sense? Okay, that makes sense. All right, ladies, this is Alex from mindfulattraction.org. 
If you guys need one-on-one -on -one coaching, you guys know exactly where to go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15. 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know, it, you know, now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um nine at ninety nine dollars. Um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre-order that course. It's going to be out by, by the end of next month or the beginning of February, of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.